Okay, so I've got something to admit to you guys, and as a big Battlefield fan, it kind of pains me that I have to say this, but I've never reached max rank in Battlefield 3. I'm at Colonel level 96, so I'm really not that far away, but I'm still pretty disappointed that I've uh, I've never managed to do it, and it kind of needs fixing. I can't I can't go on much longer knowing now that I never reached max rank, so I need to push forward and I need to do it. So I think to start off with, we're going to go with the AS Val and the Assault class, and I'm going to back that up with the 1911. I've, I've still not unlocked the 1911 S-Tac, which I think was released like during the Endgame DLC as, like a, as a weapon unlock or an assignment, and I never did it, so that's another thing that I've got to do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go with the AS Val. It was actually one of my favourite weapons to use uh, during the time that Battlefield 3 was the, the popular Battlefield game. And I'm going to go with the Cobra Red Dot Sight and the Extended Mag, because that pushes you up, I think, to 30 rounds in the magazine, if I remember correctly. And uh, I'm going to go all kitted out with my uh, navy blue assault outfit, so you can see what it looks like compared to some of the others. I think it looks pretty cool. So, uh, so yeah, we're just going to have some fun and see if we can push towards that max rank a little bit more. I managed to find a server that was running the Aftermath DLC, which I did not expect at all. You're dead, mate. He rezzed. He was not being rezzed. Where's this player gone? Oh, there he is. I was going to say, he just sort of disappeared. There another person. There was another person round there, in the corner. Oh, there's another player. AS Val to the rescue. This was like, this this was the best DLC for Battlefield Three, without a doubt. Without a doubt, you got completely looking di different looking characters. Like all of the skins are completely different, but like they're still wearing the navy blue look. So I still look like the character I want to look like, except I'm Russian not wearing proper military uniform. Never mind. There was another one that went around the corner there. Are you trying to mark him so I can come and revive him? That doesn't work in this game, does it? Eyes oh, going up the steps. Oh! Oh, no! He was sniper shotgunning me. He had slugs. Right. Let's see if we can pick this guy up. Got you. Okay. Oh, thought that was an enemy. Now, they will all come from F because this is their location, so we really need to try and take it from them. If we could, then we might actually stand a chance at keeping them out of the palace properly. You're dead. Oh, I've got a couple of hits on the guy, but not enough. Ooh. You're dead. It's going to be a guy coming through here, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Nah, he's dead now. Well, good thing we got the flag. That's what we were looking for, anyway. Beautiful. One. Where's the second guy? Where'd he go? There was a second one. There was a second one. There was a second one. Don't know. Oh, there he is. There they all are. Blimey, they all just appeared out of nowhere. Unfortunately, we've completely lost the palace. Which is a shame. I think we can get it back. There's someone over here in the garden. I think he's just gone prone. Yep, he... Well, he went prone. Now he's moving a little bit. Here's the other guy... That was the original guy that I was trying to kill. Wonder if I can get this guy. I can. Right, okay, we got one of the flags outside the palace, so this is a good point that we can use to push on towards it. <laughs> Goodness me. This AS Val is so accurate. First two bullets basically land on top of each other. I don't think there's any recoil between the first two bullets. You basically do double damage as soon as you start firing it. 
having played all the way through Battlefield 1 and, and Battlefield 5, well, up until this point anyway, makes me really appreciate what it's like to play a modern Battlefield game again. A modern Battlefield game. It's been a long time. Battlefield 4 came out in 2013. Hardline came out in 2015, so if you want to do it based on release dates, it's been five years since the last modern Battlefield title. Hopefully the next one is modern though, because I think a return to the modern times with modern equipment, more weapons, more choice for dice. Maybe they don't have to follow some historical rulebook or, you know, have problems when they don't. Sitting up there on those rocks. This is the flag we took earlier. We lost it again. We're not taking the Senate. We need to take the Senate. We are the Senate. Dead. Oh, I was just turning to kill the other guy. Too slow. Too slow. Dead. The other guy ran across here. You're down. Need some ammo. Nice. Is that? That's an enemy truck, yeah. I can't combat that. I haven't got any, uh, any explosives or anything. How did I get a kill for that? That's ridiculous. I wonder if I can... Can I drop down from here? Oh, yeah, I didn't take any damage. Nice. We've lost the outpost, though. Let's go get that back. It's actually a really beautiful map, this. Considering the time that it was made, back in 2012... Done a very good job. One thing you can say about Battlefield games, they always look really, really good. Oh, that was a good kill. A little bit of tap fire there. And then, taking a million bullets to kill that guy. Still. Fast firing though. Oh. He knows. Yeah, he's run off. We'll have this point, though. Won't say no to that. Whoa. Where are they coming from? Are they on the stairs? They were coming from the stairs. Ah! What happened there? Oh. There was a guy. Quite a few of them. See if I can push around. Oh. Whew. Got scared there. Oh no, they've taken outpost. Over we go. I mean, looking at the score, it does still look like we are going to lose this. To be honest. I mean, we're 300 tickets behind. So I wouldn't be surprised if we lost. But you never know. We keep picking up kills like that. It's going to be a decent round at least. You can't turn down a bit of Battlefield 3 anyway. Pull off that one. Whoa! And that one. I'll take that too. That was some good defending there, I'd say. You can still hear them below us, though. Oh, no, I didn't realise there was a second guy behind. I think that's probably one of the few downsides of the AS Val. I want more bullets in my magazine. <laughs> We only have one flag now. Oh, they are bleeding away the last of our tickets, aren't they? They are going to bleed away the last of those tickets. Come on. We've got to restore some pride here. Well, at any rate, this was a pretty decent round. I've had fun, and that's all that matters. Well, what really matters is that we're getting enough XP to move towards uh, Colonel 100. Um, I think we're doing all right. I think we're doing okay. Turns out we did lose. Which was a big shame. But, like I said, what really matters is this screen at the end that shows you how many points you got. Because this was one of the better features of Battlefield 3 and 4 where you got this really nice visual representation. 
of everything that happened. We got 31,000. Oh, look. Two times multiplier. So we are so close to 97 now. Really, really close. But anyway, thanks very much for watching. My first road to max rank for Battlefield 3 eight years later. But uh, we will get there. We will get there. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.